Today on this Whatever Wednesday, we're going to be looking at a CM Punk figure. Come on back to see what it is. Welcome back, Cave Dwellers. Today we have another Whatever Wednesday. And uh, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button because you know you're going to love this. And if you decide to do any of the other fun stuff, like subscribe and share, that's pretty awesome. We got comments, make sure you use them. So today we're going to be looking at the Unrivaled Collection AEW CM Punk, the Walmart exclusive. So this one is just hitting stores from what I understand. Sorry, I had a mouthful of spit there. Uh, from what I understand, uh, they're coming two to a pack or two to a box. So you're all, you're not going to see, you know, five or six of these on the shelf at one time. You're going to see they're coming in twos, which would explain why when I bought mine, there was only two of them. I just figured people had already picked them up. So he's number 89 in the line, OCM Punk. And there's a fun little picture of him. Like, what's going on over there? Hey, what's up? I'm here. I'm back. So uh, this one is just the regular you can get it anywhere figure. Uh, he's got the pants on. I'm not a fan of him in the pants for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's not a fetish thing or anything. I just don't care for it. So when he came with the wrestling trunks, I was like, yeah. And then you get the sweet AEW jacket with it. You get a microphone. We're going to take a look at all that. But this is the Walmart exclusive. So you cannot get this anywhere else but Walmart unless you find it on the second line where somebody's charging you way more money than they should be charging you but that's a discussion for another time but yeah we're going to take a look at this uh i've seen that the uh ringside collectibles recently uh put one up for sale and it is uh basically the night he came back and so he's got his straight edge jacket and um gosh there's a couple more things that he comes with that i'm like Oh man, that's pretty doggone cool. I would like to add that one to the collection. How many CM Punks do I need? I don't know. But this one, I definitely wanted uh, over the, just the, I don't know if you'd say common one or whatever you would call that. But we will destroy this packaging and we will take out, pew, here you go, uh, the hands and ugh, get that out of there uh, hold on to your hold on it's about to get noisy ah uh, uh, yeah oh he oh, he down all right so as always on the channel we're gonna put our trash back all nice and neat so that i can get it out for trash day tomorrow <laughs> trash thursdays follow whatever wednesdays so we're gonna put that back i'll mess with that later i'm taking up precious time all right so let's put you here for a second then we'll look over everything uh let's look at the hands first we got a couple of straight edge hands let's see if we can get that and there is that one for you excuse my dry hands so you got the x's on there which are pretty cool i don't don't know that this hand here is almost a microphone holding hand too he's got a rubber band holding that on and i think i may leave that on there like that until i don't know whatever but it's a great thing this hoodie is really great and uh except for one thing uh let's take a tour real quick and then i'll come back to why this is not that great a thing uh, you got the soft knee pads which do hinder I mean that's all you're gonna get while you got the knee pads on you got a little back and forth you got good down pretty good up honestly and that's on both of those you get the calf swivel or boot cut as some people will call it I uh, got the thigh swivel and you got the CM Punk booty oh yeah shaking my booty and uh he's got the stars across there on his deal and they got the aw all elite jacket which is pretty freaking awesome so let's go ahead and let's talk about well let's look at the face real quick i mean that is undeniably cm punk maybe even a little journey johnny gargano 
but definitely CM Punk. I mean, that's 100%. I love the hood that comes up like this. Looks fantastic. There's an AEW mic as usual. You, you know, you know the whole rigmarole. You got uh, bicep swivel. You got good up. I mean, that's right there. He can be talking into the microphone. You got swivel. You've got good in, good out. I mean, that's just that's fantastic. These, I love the AEW figure so much. But um, the jacket, the jacket, you have to make a couple choices. If you are an inbox collector, the choice is made for you. Keep it on, obviously. You're not going to open it and take it off. Uh, you can have the other figure, I think, maybe for that. I don't, I don't remember if he comes, the other figure comes with a jacket or not. I, did, I don't remember. But um, this one, the other figure I know has the pants. And I don't care for the pants. The jacket does stain. So if you are an out-of-box collector, you got to make a decision on, am I going to uh, keep the jacket on? So right there, can you see right in there? It's staining the figure, and it's brand new on the shelves. So you got to figure in a couple years, you're going to get uh, a lot more staining across the tattoos and uh, stuff like that. So you're going to ruin your uh, CM Punk figure. Uh, is there any more? Can't really see any more on there. But that is some staining from the shirt. Uh, you can open it up. Which I think I'll probably do. Because I like the hoodie on. But I like it kind of like, yeah, I'm getting ready to do some stuff. And it shows off the tattoos and stuff like that. So displaying him like that actually works really good for me so um but yeah you got to make a decision because this thing probably will start staining everywhere like i said it'll get into his tattoos it'll get on his belly it's already getting onto his sides if you handle him a lot pushing your oils into the fabric and it'll seep through and his back will start getting stained anywhere you're touching the thing will get stained so you gotta, I guess you got three choices. You can leave it closed, you can take it off, or leave it open like this and maybe have the hood down. I like the hood up, personally. I think that's a cool look. So, but, you know, he scales pretty good, you know. Um, there's Marvel Legends. He's a little bit bigger of a guy. So, you know, it, it, to get an idea, oh, God, I, just, I am bound and determined to lose these hands. Goodness gracious. All right, let's stand you back up mr straight edge stand up straight okay and uh so there's what he how he compares to marvel legend i mean it's bigger scale so but i also have handy i have a Fortnite figure so they scale a little more with the uh Fortnite. i guess these are the del deluxe ones or whatever but uh this guy's awesome but that's not who we're talking about right now so yeah, you've got, uh, I don't really have any WWE ones. Uh, I got a Vince McMahon sitting at, at the commentary table. So I could stand him up. Ugh. So there's a Vince McMahon. So he scales pretty good with him. I think Vince McMahon would obviously be taller. And back then he was working out real good and stuff like that. So yeah, fun stuff. But uh, choose your own adventure on the CM Punk uh, he is like I said the uh, one you're gonna be able to find everywhere he's got the pants on uh, the ringside collectibles one is awesome I may go ahead and just spring for getting that um, pockets almost look like you could put your hands in there can you put your hands in there no yeah I don't think so that'd be cool that'd be really cool have his hand in there while he's talking stuff just chill, chilling out doing a promo but yeah so there you go uh, quick easy review uh, make sure you hit the like button and I'm uh, sorry boop, hit the like button uh, subscribe share go over to my 417 uh, man child Instagram and uh, you know I got like buttons over there and I've got uh, follows and comments I love comments I'm still getting comments off the uh, superpowers Batman uh, Batwing thing I got some this morning I talked with some people and i oh, sorry i just looked over and saw the one of the figures took a skydive off the shelf but um 
Yeah, so interact with me. We'll, I'll talk anything. You want to talk how your jacket doesn't stain anything? We'll talk about that. You want to talk about how cool CM Punk is or how much you hate CM Punk? Man, I'll talk that too. I do not care. I like conversating with people. So I think that's how I'm going to display mine, all nice and open and cool, like he's giving a promo and it's a little warm in the stadium. So um, until next time, be good to one another. You know, find deals where you can. If you see him... I wouldn't plan on playing the long game. I imagine he's going to get scooped up pretty quick. Being a Walmart exclusive, he'll definitely, especially, you know, two to a case, that's not very many. That's not very many chances for people to get stuff. So I I guarantee he's going to be kind of like, I think there's a Walmart exclusive hangman where he's in his uh, wannabe cowboy outfit. And uh, I don't see that last, lasting very long because the people who love hangman love hangman. So speaking of hangman, we got one to... Uh, open up here pretty soon so uh, but we'll do that another day but there you go whatever Wednesday boom knocked out I've went over my 10 minute mark sorry about that but uh, until next time be good to one another collect what you want if you like it pull it off that peg pull it off that shelf take it home you don't like it you leave it there for the next guy if you're an out of box collector if the figure looks the good in all the boxes and there's nothing wrong with it Go ahead and take that beat up box if there's one that's banged up or whatever because all you're going to do is take them out, throw it in the trash anyways. So save the good looking boxes for your our, our inbox collecting friends and let's uh, do something for the community like that. So till next time, later.